Howdy. What a desolate wasteland I find myself in today. We're staying right here on the other side of these trees at an RV park just outside of Palm Springs. So, quick little backstory on my family and I. We lived pretty much like everybody else, most of my wife and I's life, living in different suburban, mostly suburban neighborhoods around Northern California and San Diego. And then about five-ish, six years ago or so, we sold everything, bought a travel trailer and hit the road full time. I think that was in 2015. And we did that for uh, oh, almost four years. And then we sold the travel trailer Renovated, renovated a house, which is where I shot all of the last, I don't know, year or two of videos from. And then just recently sold that house and got another travel trailer and a truck to pull it and hit the road once again, which begs the question, why the heck did you do that? Uh, twofold, but one is more practical, the other is more, I don't know, internal, deep, beckoning questions. Um, the practical is that we wanted out of California, like so many others, and so we thought it was the golden opportunity to sell a house because uh, the housing market was through the roof. Houses, house prices going of crazy. We sold the house extremely fast for quite a bit over what we asked for. So that's part of the reason for this little journey with our trailer, living full time on the road, is looking for where we could realistically buy another house. We're looking at Tennessee or Florida primarily, but we don't know. Not really settle down, even if we get another house. The goal would be to uh, stay at that place, especially if it's Florida or Tennessee. Both summers are pretty brutal there, so we would be traveling for four to six months out of the year is the idea. When it gets hot in either of those states, we'll hit the road and head west or north or wherever it's cooler. Anyway, so that's the practical. But the other side of it is that we found very quickly into going back into home life, how quickly you adapt to the routines of having a house and living in an area where people know where you live. They know that this is where you, uh, you're gonna be at some point. Maybe you're gone for a little while on a trip, but they know this is your house. You're gonna go back there. So what tends to happen um, is that you fall into routine. We did, again, we fell into routine and normalcy and the adventure of life was pretty much gone. We, for the most part, knew what we were doing. Uh, more, I guess importantly, we knew what we couldn't do because we were basically strapped down to that house because, you know, the kids got involved in classes. By the way, none of these things are bad. They just sort of cause friction with, especially my natural tendency to want to be on the move, want to be on the road, want to, see things and go places and not know what a day has in store when I wake up in the morning. And home life makes you pretty dang aware or clear about what's gonna happen that day. The kids are gonna go to the same class or you have this appointment or a social obligation, which again, isn't bad. We made some incredible friendships with some people. That alone made going back into the house worth it, was uh, to form these relationships that we did. So. Good things came out of it and good things do come of it, but at some point, the normalcy got to me and the rest of the family, really. Um, they were ready to get out and travel again and see places and do things. And I guess it's that wanderlust, wanderlust, um, just hit us again. And uh, we just got kind of bogged down or uh, yeah, we were just done with the routine of of a house. A lot of things come with a house, you know, from uh, like expenses, obviously, very expensive, even though our house was extremely cheap compared to most, especially in California. Still so many extra bills and costs. Some of those things are that you have extra space to put things in 
And so even though we fought it and we were like, it's stupid, we don't need stuff. Our house is pretty small, the house we were living in before, relative to uh, a lot of houses. Um, and we liked that originally. We were like, we don't want to start getting stuff. Moving from the trailer back into the house, that was one of the things we were like, it's ridiculous to go out and buy a bunch of stuff just because now we have room to put it. But over the last three years, we sure did fill that house. You just buy things because you can and it's fun. It feels good. So we did. And even though we were like, we're not going to go back into the normal routine of like classes and schedules and schools and having to be somewhere at, this is me personally, but I hate schedules. Well, I guess that's not necessarily true because right now we still have a schedule of places that we're traveling, but those are things that I choose to do rather than things I have to do. I hate schedules filled with have to do appointments, I suppose. The closer I can get to filling my day with get to do things, the closer my life is to the way I want it to be. I hope that it is, I desire it to be. The get to do things are mainly attached to my family. Talk to the camera. Where should I talk about it? Stuff like, well, where are we going anyways? Up, um. Spending more time with them, getting to do things that, you know, to me are important. They're, the things, the way I distinguish a have to do thing from a get to do thing is uh, a little bit, I suppose, dark. Uh, but I look at my deathbed and if I'm about to die, like looking back on the decisions that I make and how I chose to spend my time, the get to do things are the things that on my deathbed I'll feel like, yeah, that was a good use of time. I don't regret that. And the have to do things are the things that I'm like, that was a waste of time. That was stupid. Why did I waste my time doing that? Because I had to. Well, they had to go to class. Well, they had to go to this thing. We paid for it. We paid for them to do this thing, so they have to do it. In terms of kids, there's a lot of those things. In house life, I learned that we did for ourselves. It was like, well, we paid for it. They have to go to class. They have to do this thing. Not just classes, but I don't know, appointments, schedules, groups they joined, commitments they made to things that financially we paid for. So it's like, well, you have to do it now. We have to do it. Or um, you told that person you'd do that thing because they know where we live and they know that we're here. We're part of this community. So now, you know, you just, you attach yourself to things and plans and schedules. And a lot of it turns into like, well, we have to do this now. We have to, we can't go on that trip. We can't do the things that we'd like to do or that we get to do or want to do because we have to do this. You know what I mean? So I guess that's what it boils down to is house life, created a lot more have to do things in our life. And when we're in the trailer living this way, our days are pretty much filled with get to do things that we're doing because this is how we want to live our life. This is the sort of life that we want to live. To say the same thing twice, it's one of my specialties. I can say the same thing 84 different ways in one video. I can make, like the point of this video, I probably could have made it, you know, 30 seconds long, but instead I'm gonna draw this thing out as long as I can by repeating myself, saying the same thing as many different ways as I can possibly think of. Ah, it's too dang hot. I'm going back to uh, get some water. I'm trying to shoot four videos today because I really, one of the things that I, I guess this is sort of a, have to do get to do thing. It's it's both for me. I would love to make more. I'd love to spend more of my time doing YouTube instead of doing the regular work that I have to do right now to pay the bills, which is client work, which sometimes is good. Most of the time, it's not so good, not very enjoyable, and it's a have to do thing. So YouTube is a get to do thing, but uh, it would it would be. But right now, I. You know, it's just, it's something I'm trying to get rolling out, trying to get better at. So, I'm trying to shoot four videos today. Anyways, that's the end. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this kind of video, the channel's kind of all over the place. If you're into tobacco, traveling, or uh, pursuing a life that matters to you, that's, I guess, the gist of what this channel's all about. So, you should definitely, uh, chain yourself up to this channel by, you know, subscribing to it like every other 
person on YouTube tries to get you to do. Man, subscribes and likes on YouTube are like heroin for somebody trying to make a YouTube channel. It's just like, that's all you can think about. That's all you're doing the videos for is to get likes and subscribes. So I want them to give me yours, please. All right, that's it. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Goodbye.